All right, I am back, and it is restarting things. Hopefully this works this time. Thank you guys for being patient as I figure out these technical difficulties. He's back, but patching the game. Well, it, it, that's why I loaded it before I started the live, so that all this would be done, but then it crashed, and now it's doing this again. So yay for that. <laughs> oh my god. I just, I'm, I'm cursed. I can't place Age of Discovery, I guess, for you guys. I'm trying. Uh, it was first time we had no sound for the game, which I could play, but it was iffy. And then I went to fix that, and it screwed up the rest of my computer and the rest of my OBS anyway. <clears throat> so. Mutiny against Captain Foley. Well, that's not nice, Josh. Thank you, Trent. I'm glad it's okay. Um, <laughs> you did find the first time you did STO, but it was before Age of Discovery. Yeah, was there sound the first time? I thought there was. I think you guys could hear the game, but apparently you couldn't when I went back to play it, which was odd because I didn't change anything. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> we'll get through this. We will do this. This will be a thing, um, hopefully. Uh, All right, come on, patch. As long as it works, I'm happy. So as I was saying, um, we usually do our lives on Sundays later, usually around 5 Eastern Standard Time, but I thought since Samuel messaged me and said he couldn't do it, that's fine. Um, thanks for keeping me company while I do the Adam Carolla podcast studio. No problem, Charles. i use the force. All right, well, all right, come on. Let's see and engage. Are you going to purchase the Discovery Starter Pack? Uh, probably not. All right, so engage. Let's see if this works. So far, so good. I need to go to my uh, editor, there we go, and turn off this. Doing things. Ta da! Come on, there we go. All right. So, yeah, you guys can hear that. Okay, good, good. All right, well, we're back in. Let's make a character and hope this doesn't crash this time. All right, so a male human character. Cool. Uh, tactical. Yeah, we'll go tactical. Appearance. Let's change the hair at least. I mean, that sort of looks like me, so let's do uh, head. Uh, hairstyle. I always go with uh, spiky bangs. Tattoo your scar. Okay, uniform. Let's choose. I want. Here we go. This is where I want. Oh, that's where I just was. And some command insignia. That's what I want. Alright, it all looks good. We'll keep that. Um, next. Don't forget the stash. Oh, you want me to put my... Fine, I'll put on facial hair if you guys really want. Uh, where is that? <laughs> uh, huh. 
Uh huh. Well, this is what I use for my main character because it's kind of what I got going on, even though it's not quite like that, but whatever. Yeah, we'll do that then. Fine. You made me do it. And Dorian is, well, people don't forget. Enter a name. I'll uh, just Stuart Foley. Uh, first name Stuart. Last name Foley. Oh, that makes a difference at all. Uh, last time we went with the USS Paradox. Because it's funny. Thank you to Captain George for suggesting that one. And engage. I do like this graphic, I gotta say. This is cool. Is it loading? I don't see anything loading. What the? Oh, there's some stuff moving. Okay. Oh, yeah, the bar along here is moving very slowly, but nonetheless it is moving, so that's fine. Nope. Not yet, but they have the alien option, which allows you to make a custom character. Oh. Hey, dystopian guy, how's it going? Darn, that'd be cool. It would be cool to be... do the Andorian thing. I still can't believe how much things have changed. We hadn't heard from the Klingons for years. And now we have. Now, the Federation is at war. That was probably the last thing on my mind when I got here. There's Tilly. It was the same for you. Damn. Right? We came to Starfleet Academy. I wish she had her hair explorers. down and curly, though. But Not all of us are fighters. Some of us are engineers, healers, scientists. We've been working hard on the ground and in space. Look at her butt. She got a nice round butt. We learned butt. how things worked on a starship. They really did a good job in making Tilly. And we learned but, how to work as know, a team. I'm a pervert. I'm sorry. I just love Tilly. We've been getting ready to boldly go where no one has gone before. And today's your big day. Is it? Today you graduate and begin your career as a Starfleet officer. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, get some Tilly action going on. Welcome to Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day, and soon you will be embarking on your training cruise where the bulk of the ship is manned by cadets like yourself. Well, I feel bad for that ship then, because cadets are idiots. So there's Tilly over there. She's waving at me. People you can interact oh, with have icons above their heads. This you can press... Help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to Cadet Silva. Hey, there you are. Are you excited? Yes. I am very excited. I'm excited, Pretty too. Pretty soon we'll be reporting for duty on the cadet training cruise. That we will. I'm assuming you know your assignment. Are you kidding? I set up a triple layer alarm sequence to notify me when the postings went up. I think Nerd. I knew before some of Captain Schaefer's staff. Two words. Chief. Engineer. Nice. Congratulations. That's quite an honor, especially for a junior. By the way, nice butt. Right? I'm still not sure if this isn't right. one of Finnegan's pranks. He's done stuff like Finnegan, this, you know. Finnegan, ah. Ugh, poor Jim Kirk. I love the references to Kirk. Oh, cool. uh, before I forget, Lifeson is looking for you. Actually, I think I see him over there. You should probably find out what he wants. Yeah, I've heard that this just rehashes the original tutorial, but that's fine. I mean, it's worth playing through, I think. Um, get to follow Tilly around and follow the nice round Tilly bum, and I'm fine with that. They did a good job capturing how annoying she is. Ah, I like her. Lead the way, I say. I'll follow her butt anywhere. Hey, look at that. Oh, don't do that. But look at that butt. It's such a nice butt. Here's Lifeson, one of the best tactical cadets in your class. Oh, ah, uh, no, after Evelyn. And yourself. Course. Yeah, right. I heard you were looking for me, Lifeson. There you are. I wanted to Here thank you for helping me pass that final, and yeah. for all the other times you've helped me. Right. Seriously, I might not have made the cadet cruise if it weren't for you. It's because you're an idiot. Schaefer recognizes all you've done to lead our class. Have you got your assignment yet? No, not yet. Huh. Well, Lieutenant Tassilm has all the assignments now. I'd see what she knows. Before you do that, do me a favor and talk to Ian. 
He's got good news, and he won't settle down until he shares it with everyone, including you. Alrighty then, let's go talk to Ian Kwan. Oh, there's Ian. Let's find out what his big news is. Sounds good. Oh, good God, I can tell you, I'd follow you anywhere. They did a fantastic job on Tilly. I'm st uh, oh. I gotta say. Who's she talking to? Anyway, we'll talk to Ian Kwan. Cadets Kwan and Peart, with a combined IQ of 231, which, I've heard, is almost to up to the go. I love it. That's the rumor, anyway. <sighs> All right. How's it going, Ian? Oh, hey. I've been looking for you. Have you? I mean, Lifeson said you had good news. Yes! I took the linguistics final again, and I aced it! You got a talented tongue, do you? That's really kind of disturbing, but whatever. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm glad that worked out for you. <laughs> you and me both. Right? It wouldn't have happened if I didn't follow your advice. I know. I'm you awesome. saw that I wasn't at my best that day. Told me to give it another shot. Yep. So, I did. Good. That perfect score really made a difference. Now I'm qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Wow. Howdy, Richard. Someone make a compilation of all the f Captain Tilly drew, uh, drow, drew, yeah, I think you mean drooling moments. Um, that's impressive. Congratulations. Thanks. No Always problem. good to have options, right? Kiro took your advice too. I think it worked out for him since he's slightly less scowly than usual. <laughs> uh, let me know if I'm right, okay? Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> Uh, I think I see Kiro over there. All Come right. on. Yep. Um, I could do this all day, Tilly. Oh, look at that saunter. Ugh. Sauntering bum. Bum bum bum. 130 people watching. That's interesting. Talk to Cadet Kiro. Uh, at least he'll have a Discovery backup job if he gets posted on the Discovery. Glad to see you got this fixed. Yeah, especially thanks to Jason, um, one of our Trekyards admins. He helped me with OBS. I'm now using Streamlabs OBS a little bit better. Um, so, yeah. And here we have the smartest person in your class, or so I've heard. It's not entirely fair. Hero is a super genius, and he's built like a brick shit. Uh, uh, yep, yes. <laughs> oh, Tilly. I love you so much. Everyone tab away and give the captain a few minutes alone with Tilly. No, it's fine, it's fine. I'll take my alone time when you guys aren't around. Um, Alright, so, hello, Kiro. Cadet, it is agreeable to be in your presence. Your advice regarding okay. Federation history was advantageous. Yeah. It allowed me to pass the final test with satisfactory marks. I am pleased. That's good to in hear. In the interest of camaraderie, I now inform you that Captain Schaefer is still selecting the senior staff for the upcoming training crews. There is a 78.4% chance that you will be selected for a position, based on my current statistical models. Lieutenant Tassil may have more conclusive data on the matter. All right. Come back, Tilly. I love you so much. I'll wait out here. Tassilin should be inside. Okay. I'm just gonna stand here and rub up against you. Dun, 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 nothing weird here. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. Anyway. I wonder if that's where the makers of Discovery were thinking to boldly make something that no Trek fan would recognize. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh. Talk to this person. Hey, lady. Good afternoon, cadet. Good afternoon. How may I be of assistance? Is this where I get my training crew's assignment? Yeehaw! It is. Ah. I will access your assignment data now. One moment. Lieutenant? Hmm. Your assignment is not listed. Inquiries on the matter have been directed to Captain Schaefer himself. Is there a problem? Am I in trouble? That remains to be seen. I suggest you report to Captain Schaefer and ask him personally. He is in the office behind me. Now I'm worried. It's like I'm going to the principal's office. All right, let's go. Where look at that? Ring the bell. Ding dong. 
Enter. Okay. Hi, buddy. Good to see you, Cadet. Today's the big day. Congratulations. Judging by that look on your face, I trust this visit concerns your assignment on the training cruise. Yes, sir. By the way, has anyone ever told you you look like the old actor Ildris Elba? Uh, well, you can relax. Okay. I'm happy to report that you won't be my new bilge officer. <laughs> Far from it. Thank you, Captain. There is a matter I'd like to address, however. Yes. Your academic record is impressive, but I don't see your results for the advanced phaser training program. Get to shed some light on that for me? Um, well, I'm proficient with the phaser as it is, sir, but um, many of my classmates didn't take the test either, Captain. Is that an issue? The Federation is at war with the Klingon Empire, Captain. No, it's, it's not, I should really. need to remind you that Klingons enjoy close combat with their enemies. Okay. That in mind, I want everyone on my senior staff to complete that program. No exceptions. But except me, right? I mean, I know I know what no exceptions means, but except me. Because I'm awesome. Did you say senior staff, sir? I did indeed. There's a place for a cadet like you on my bridge, once you finish that phase, of course. My chief engineer and tactical officer have programmed a training simulator for you. I look forward to seeing your results. May I ask... Who those cadets are, sir? Cadets Tilly and Surveyor, respectively. Yes. They've been working on the simulation for me for some time now. Interesting pair, those two. Some of the staff question bringing Tilly along on the cruise as a junior, but her professors assure me that she's up to the task. Oh, I'm sure she is. Uh, it'll be a good experience for her, sir. Indeed. She'll meet you out in the quad. Okay. Talk to her to start the training, and I'll see you when you're finished. That's all for now, cadet. Dismissed. Yes, sir. All right, let's get the hell out of here. See, I've heard um, not great things about this tutorial. It's just a rehash of the old original tutorial and, you know, whatever. It's And it's not very long, which is fine. Apparently, they only had three months to put this together, so i got to give the STO guys a little bit of credit for what they did. They did a fantastic job, in my opinion. Uh, from what I've seen, anyway, so... I still can't believe I got the chief engineer spot. Me, me yes, either. it's just for the cadet training cruise, but still! How many juniors get to go on the cruise, let alone as a department head? This is exciting. <laughs> okay. Whew. Deep breath. I'm good. Woo! <laughs> Enough about me. Uh, where did you end up? <laughs> I'd love to hear you say woo in different set settings, but anyway. Captain Schaefer wants me to go... Uh, wants me on the senior staff. But I have to pass advanced phaser training first. I have to show them how good I am, obviously. Yeah? I was wondering why he wanted us to set up the program for you. Now I know. Hey, I should warn you, it can get pretty lively. With the Klingons and aggression, then... I should probably stop telling you about the program now. Now I'm a little nervous. Oh, no, don't worry. You'll do fine. There's no doubt in my mind. Come on, I'll take you there. Sevea's waiting over at the simulator. You know... You know how cranky she gets when people are late. Yeah, right. But, you know, you could give me some private tutoring, Tilly. Um, you know, because I am kind of nervous now, and you know. But anyway, lead the way. Like I said, I'll follow that tush Finnegan anywhere. Finnegan actually graduated. I guess the Irish are lucky like, after they, all. They did a fantastic job on her butt. I'm sorry, but that is the most shapely, beautiful butt I've ever seen. Uh, like I said, I just wish her hair was down and curly. No one was assigned to it a constitution looks class. Funny. Not even you. That's crazy. Kind of looks funny when it's um. Up. How many times did you run the Kobayashi Maru? Kirk's up to two now. Kirk's up to two, is he? Look, it's the 602 club. That's awesome. We better hurry, or we'll lose our spot. Oh, Ooh, I hate running. Let's run. But you do it so well. Uh oh, there's Ev, and she's looking impatient. Oh, she's bent over. She. No, why do you keep facing away from what? No, I want to get behind you. Oh, well, that's not cool. Oh, for Christ's sakes, Tilly. <sighs> Just zoom out. There we go. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, oh, yes, this person. I'm doing things. There you are. About time. Program's loaded and ready to go. <laughs> Worse than Kirk. I hope this is your I'll take that as a compliment. Simulator. It's been nothing but bad luck for Kirk. <laughs> 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 
Oh, don't you have any advice for me? I want to pass this. Point the business end of the phaser at the enemy, not yourself. Really? Sorry, Captain Schaefer told us both not to give you any help, no matter how nicely you ask. You got through quantum mechanics, you can get through this. I think I know how to use a phaser, lady. But, anyway. Alright, I'm just gonna, I'll need a phaser. Yeah, those are pretty useful in they phaser are. training, huh? No. Yep. Too bad tricorders don't have a stun setting. You get top marks. <laughs> Yeah. Kidding! I'm kidding. The phasers so are in the armory by the holodecks. Grab one there. Okay. Let's go. Uh, running. running. It's the worst. Oh, it's not when you're behind you. <laughs> Although, why do you keep running away from me? I guess that's a sign. Get out of my way, buddy. Oop, right turn. We can't. Gradually, what the hell? Where'd she go? Hey, babe. I love the way she stands, too. It's so. Hey, how's it going? So sultry the way she's got her legs, you know. Oh my god. <coughs> I know, I'm a pig. Get pistol. I don't know about you guys, but I'm done with SDO. I can't. I just can't support this depressingly dumb shit. Play age. Agents of yesterday, after you're done with this TD add on, I'll s you'll see how it doesn't fit at all. I love um, Agents of Yesterday on this. It's absolutely fantastic, but Captain Foley, you ha are a butt fetish lover. Would your wife Sylvia and you have a. Would you. Would your wife Sylvia and you have a butt fetish? Well, Sylvia, my wife Sylvia is in love with Sylvia Tilly as well, so I'm down with that, you know. And yes, I do love them butts. I like Tilly's butt, and I cannot buy you other purple cans. <laughs> that one, Tilly walks in with a. Just not, go to the center of the room. Not so itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just ignore the disco content if you don't enjoy it. There's no sense getting rid of the whole game. Oh, shit. Hey, buddy. What's this? World of Warcraft? They look like orcs. There, I said it. Now what? End the holodeck program. How do I do that? Hello? Let me out of here. Oh, exit simulation. Exit stimulation. Oh, wait a minute. That's simulation. At least Star Trek Online can spell. You know how many spelling mistakes were in Star Trek Discovery? Um, even end simulation, where there's the, uh, the, the simulation of Earth being exploded, they spelt simulation wrong. But who am I to judge? Oh, this no, oh, this guy's cool. I like him. <laughs> nice work, Cadet. A few points below Sever's personal best, but it was your first try. You'll have plenty Hi, of Xavier. to knock her from her perch at the top of the list once we're underway. Yeah, the Klingons must have been taught by Strong. I have 142 people watching. That's amazing. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, hopefully you are enjoying things. I'm gonna move myself over a tad though. It might be a little distracting being where I was. There. All right. So, getting back to things. Yes, we have sound. It's amazing. And, guys, I know it's not imperative that you do so, but if you can super chat, like I said, it's super welcome, super awesome, and super welcome. Thank you. If you can. If not, that's cool too. Um, just follow along and play. Um, Spelling makes. Uh, spelling mistakes occur when Gandalf throws any away fireworks. Right. Thank you, Captain. Do you have an assignment for me now? That I do, Cadet. I could. First officer's station is yours. Yeah. That's if you want it, of course. Uh, Build officer spot is still open. Peter Quinn says nice spaceship on Doctor Who this week. Okay. First officer. 
You've done well here, Cadet. I expect that trend to continue. Yes. Onward and upward throughout your career. Right. Thank you, sir. It'll be an honor serving with you. Likewise. I'll see you on the bridge then. And congratulations. Thank you. This chick wow, is very happy. Wow, look at you first, officer. You're going to do right. a great job. Yeah. Congratulations. No problem. That thing the captain said about the bilge officer's spot was pretty funny, though. <laughs> I mean, we don't even have those anymore. Wait, do we? Anyway. First officer, how does it feel? Trapper John says PewDiePie taught her to clap. I'm a huge PewDiePie follower and fan. I love watching PewDiePie, so. Time for meme review. Meme review. Anyway. Uh, what can I say? The captain sees greatness in me. Yeah, I'll say that one. Whoa, dial it down a little there, Admiral Awesome. If your head gets bigger than two meters, you won't fit through any doors. That's what she said. Oh, that, you're talking about the different head. Gotcha. Good to know. Seriously, Captain Schaefer didn't make that decision lightly. He believes in you, just like me. Even though you got me blown up in the Kobayashi Maru. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should get going to the shuttle bay. Yeah. Everybody's waiting for the ceremonial send-off toast. Guess who gets to give that? My guess would be the first officer, which would be me. But let's go. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, lady, you can go away. Your butt's not as nice. I'm just gonna follow the redhead because. Now hear this. All yes. cadets report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. Oh, we're alone in an elevator together. <coughs> no, we're not alone. But. I'm still, I like the odds. Okay. All right. The rest of the senior staff is waiting just ahead. Okay. Time for your big speech. Mm -hmm. How are you going to play it? Inspirational? Heartwarming? Hmm. That could be good. Hey, make Savea cry like just a single tear. Warrior style. Warrior style. Represent. Anyway, I'll meet you at the bar. All right. No pressure. You're going to be great. Have a few drinks. Be all. Look it up by the time I get there. All right, let's go do this. Who's this? There's another redhead. Hey, baby. Oh, lead a toast. May I have everyone's attention? Should I inspire the cadets, intimidate the cadets, or be humble? I'll inspire the cadets. We are the senior staff of the USS Paradox. Each and every one of us has trained for the task at hand, and we are ready. Continue to hearten the cadets. Be humble or dishearten the cadets. Oh. I have the utmost faith in each of you. You're the best the Academy has to offer. We can do anything. Galvanize the cadets. Terrorize the cadets or show humility. It really wants me to show humility to end this thing, but I'm not going to do that. Mart's 10 $2 super chat. Thank you very much. Got to work on that shilling. Have some bu uh, burger bucks. Right. They are worth more in Canada. They are worth more in Canada. All right, galvanize the cadets. But we will go forth boldly. We'll work together using every thing we've learned here to Starfleet Academy, to the USS Paradox, to her crew. Raise a glass to the class of 2256. Cheers. All cadets, please board your shuttles. All right, then. Oh, oh, there's a railing. Oh, I should probably holster my weapon because I look like a dipshit carrying it around. There we go. Hey. Are you ready to head to the ship? Let's go. Yeah, I named the ship Paradox. It's all under the advice of uh, Captain George, who was here the first time I tried this. Because it, it, I found it funny and amusing and quite appropriate. I can't believe we're finally doing this. How do I admit it's better with sound, guys? Ooh, 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 look over there. Ooh, it's That's a Glen. The Glen. One of the new Crossfield class ships. Nice. No one really knows much about her or her capabilities. Well, at Starfleet Academy, anyway. Maybe we'll work on a ship like that someday. For now, our ship's here. She's a Malakowski class, Captain Schaefer's pride and joy. Good speed for her class. Definitely maneuverable. Actually pretty cool Stout, looking, too. Stout, solid, battle-proven design, for sure. I can't wait to see what she can do. 
Let's land and find out. Yeah. And the shuttle's really cool, too. The shuttle was designed by John Eaves, and it just is awesome. I gotta admit, that's a nice reimagining somewhat of the, the shuttles we see in Star Trek uh, 5, 6. Alright. Talk to Sylvia. Okay, we need to check in with the deck officer first, then okay. head to our station. Yep, yep. Oh man, I cannot wait to see the engine room. My engine room. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, baby. I wish I could go with you. But I gotta go to the branch. Oh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -da. where's the deck officer? There he is. All right. Sylvia Tilly, acting chief engineer, reporting for duty. Cadet, holy. Scoping out Tilly's butt. Welcome aboard. What's your name, Cadet? Stuart Foley, sir. Yes, here we are. Foley. Acting First Officer. Yep. You're all set. Where is the captain? Report to Dumb Captain question. Schaefer on the bridge. Probably on the bridge. He's been expecting you. Yeah. Use the turbo lift behind me. It'll take you directly there. All right. Thank you, sir. Run as fast as I can. One thing that bugs me about these um, games like Warcraft and stuff, everybody's always running and jumping around like a moron. Oh, look at this bridge. There's like no color. It's so very drab. And look, apparently you can see through the floor. Which actually is kind of neat, but... Ah, there you are. Computer, note the executive officer has reported for duty in the ship's log. Welcome aboard, XO. Thank you, Captain. You're right on time. Yes, All I decks am. have reported in. We're ready to get underway. Let's start things simple by getting the old girl out of dry dock, huh? Right. Contact dock control and get clearance to depart. After we're cleared, close the shuttle bay doors and disable the tractor moorings. All right. Ian, get clearance from control for the paradox to leave the gentry. Dock control has cleared us to depart. Acknowledged. Carry on. Tamav, set a send a signal to close the shuttle bay doors. The shuttle bay doors. What's this guy doing? Closed. What are you doing? This guy's suspicious. He's a Vulcan. He's got tricording. He's doing re readings. He's probably doing temporal things and s fixing. Acknowledged. Timeline. Carry on. Erez, wait for me to disable the tractor moorings. Because otherwise, we're going to be screwed. Let's go up here. here I, obviously, you're sitting here, so you know your job, but I'm just going to burst in and just do what I need to do. Thanks, guy. Erez, take us out. <coughs> Order impulse. Captain, may I remind you that Starfleet regulations specify thrusters only while in space dock, in the vicinity of space dock. I'm gonna say. Really it. noted, XO. Erez, take us out. Maximum thrusters. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Acknowledged, Helm. Set a course for Vulcan. Warp four. Course laid in, sir. Engage. Engage. What? Are you telling me we just went to warp straight out of space dock? That's a remarkably dumb idea. Incoming transmission. Captain, I'm picking up a distress call from the SS Fortuna. Audio only. Put them through, comms. This is the Fortuna! Can you hear me? So, uh, warp code is leaving! Let them know we're on our way. Okay. Helm, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA, three minutes. Transporter room, prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the Fortuna. Communications are out as well. All right. Keep trying to hail them, comms. XO, let's discuss the situation. Right on, man, right on. Well, XO, you heard the distress call. What are your recommendations? Is this a test, sir? Part of the training crews? Afraid not. This is the real deal. 
First Starfleet regs, we're the closest ship to the Fortuna, so it's our duty to assist. Of course it is. Uh, sir, there's something wrong with the warp field. The, the star effect is not what it's supposed to look like. It looks like it's distorting and being all weird. I think we're actually going to a parallel dimension of some sort. That is not the correct warp effect, I'm sorry to say. Something is wrong with the engines. They are out of tune. They're out of phase or something. Can we fix this shit? Tilly, you're down in engineering. Tilly, Tilly, hello, Tilly. Come on, fix the damn warp engines. This is not the right warp effect. Install screensaver number two. No? All right. It's strange that the transmission was audio only. Yeah, that never happens. All the time in Discovery, because we can't afford a budget to show other ships, but whatever. A warp core emergency shouldn't affect communications. Not usually, no. Good instincts. How would you proceed here? Um, I recommend that we do something proper. Um, let's see. I recommend we go to Red Alert, full power to weapons, and load photon torpedoes. That's a little harsh. That's a little wharf like. Shields up, sir, better safe than sorry. That's probably the best bet. We need more information before we get in there. I recommend scanning for an hour to see exactly what the situation is. Um, no, we're not going to scan for an hour when it's, what, three minutes away, it said? Good call. Yeah. There's something about this that's not sitting right with me. Come in firing wildly. Let's do it. It's a trap! I can do an Admiral Akbar. Yeah, because it's a trap. Oh my god. <sighs> Ugh. See, the other day, Yesterday, actually, I was laying on the couch, and when I got up, I pulled a muscle, so when I looked this way, or whatever, I get shooting pain down my neck, all the way down my arm and my back, and oh my god. Anyway, totally unrelated. Agreed. Yellow alert. <laughs> Surveyor, yeah. bring the shields up. Get down to the transporter room, XO. Okay. I want you to oversee the rescue efforts from there. Right. I'm on my way to do... The How many fucking doors are on this bridge? One, two, three, four... That's a little unnecessary. How do I know which one is which? Four doors from the bridge. Wow. So two turbo lifts, a ready room. That's not the right one. I feel like an idiot now. Go to the transporter deck. Desmond, the Fortuna should be in range. Give me an update. I'm getting some weird readings. Ooh, another redhead. I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Fortuna. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. Five this doors. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. There are four doors. Oh, here's the lateral vector transporters, which never existed, but hey. Klingons. Klingons. Oh, my God. She got a nice butt, too, but it's not quite as round and full as Tilly's. These are the things I notice. Oh. Don't let me join. Be nice to the females. Your ship will be ours. Starfleet. Desmond, come in. What happened? There's Klingons off the Desmond? starboard bow. Starboard bow. Starboard bow. Klingons off Hold the on. starboard We're reading disruptive fire in the transporter room. Right. Klingons are beaming in on multiple decks. Okay. All hands. This is the captain. Repel borders. I repeat. Repel you know, borders. If you would have, well, no. I was going to say, if you would have put your shields up like I recommended, they wouldn't be boarding, but we had to throw our shields to beam the survivors over. So, your orders, Captain. You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find, and then repel any borders you come across. Okay. What about the enemy ships, sir? You let us worry about that. Okay. Right now, I need you doing what you can to get those Klingons off my ship. Okay. Bet you're glad you took that phaser course now, huh? Ah. Shoot straight and stay safe down there. Yes, sir. Over here, XO. We need you to unlock the armory. Okay, I'm coming. Um, so let's unholster my weapon and go. Now, we gotta get the Klingons off the ship, so I should go find the toilet paper. The toilet paper is really good for Klingons. I do have a thing for sweet cheeks, yes. You have to enter the command codes! Okay! Entering the command codes on the wall below the panel. Grab That's where the rifle. secret We need to deal with the Klingons! area is get a rifle is that one to get a rifle all right so switch out my equip oh i gotta equip my phaser hold on oops drag you over there 
Alright. Hold on, don't get your candies in a bunch, guys. Yeah, I swore, what of it? I swear a lot when I play games. Apologize. Don't mean to. Don't be mad at me. Take that, suckers! Oh, well, bye! Nice knowing you. Release the tribbles. Yeah, we need the triple gun. I like that, Mars hey, 10. I'm reading a whole breach near the transporter room. Oh, yeah? I don't really give a shit. Alright, so oh, go up to good. this. You're on the right side of the safety field. <laughs> cool. Take the hypo spray. Yeah, I'm not dead. Thanks for notice until it. Uh, where am I going? What am I doing? Hold on. B. Get rid of that. Oh, not there. The shit is not. Okay, I gotta. Okay, never mind. Go this way. Takes way too long for them to seal a hull, a hull breach. Yeah, I totally agree, but you spelled hull wrong. It's supposed to be H U L L, it's not hall. Kind of can. Sorry, I don't mean to be an asshole. <clears throat> Oh, hi guys. Whoa. Oh, there's a thing on there. Eh. Hey baby, how you doing? Thanks. I think they were going to engineering, but her hurry. There's a lot of them. All right, I'm on it. I'll save you, lady. That's what I do, cause I'm Captain Security Foley. to engineering. We are under attack. Or I will be Captain Foley. I'm like Tilly. I'll be a captain someday, but only on a show called Trek Air. It doesn't mean anything. Klingon boarding parties on multiple decks, XO. Our security teams are spread thin. I need you to get to engineering and keep it secure. It's bound to be a priority target for the enemy. I'm on my way. I'll go protect Tilly. That sweet, sweet Tilly. Tilly is in trouble. It's your duty to protect that booty. That's absolutely right, my friend. Lead the way, XO. We've got your back. <coughs> All right. Do you? Then why aren't you firing? Let's do this thing. actually kind of cool. Move, move, move! Enemy target. Oh, am I glad to see you. I'm here to save you, Tilly. Don't worry. I'll never let nothing happen to the booty. He 
he's allergic to Klingons. Does the cur... You have no idea how happy I am to see you. Has some sort of they individual clothing shield, or is that funky effect when they can't get shot? can't imagine what, though. I mean, they have warp and impulse tech. What else would be in engineering? Especially Tilly, since the your booty? Mess, That's what they're them. after? Is there a part they didn't shoot? Sorry, I, I could really use your help, since you're here. Uh, yeah, I'm here for you, babe. Oops, get rid of that. What am I doing? Uh, talk to Tilly. I just did talk to Tilly, but I didn't talk to her again. Hey, babe. As I was saying, the ship's taken a lot of damage. I'll do what I can to get the essentials online. Note to self, never put help. fully on the left side. See anything notes. you could do in here? They did make her boobs a bit smaller. Yes, they did. I know how to improve the ship's weapons. Okay. The power relays for our weapons were overloaded. I need you to bring them back online. The power relays for the forward weapons are accessed through two consoles behind me on the upper floor. The relays for the aft weapons can be accessed here at the center console. You good to go? Consider it done. Oh, I gotta go do something now. I guess. Boost power to forward. Okay, warp core stable. Life support is optimal. Yes. And boost power to our torpedoes. Shipwide comms online. Boost power to aft phasers. Glad you're still with us. We could use a hand up here. We've taken casualties, and the Klingons could send more boarding parties at any time. Do what you need to do down there, and report to the bridge. Head back to the bridge. We'll cover this deck. You giving me orders? Because, no. Oh, well, I could go this way, I suppose. I'm... I am the first officer. I will give the orders around here. Sir, we flash shields! Prepare the... Ah, <coughs> uh, here we go again. How you doing? Don't kill the captain, I like him. Who is in command here? Speak now! I'm Captain Schaefer, and you are? I am Jaula of House Mokra. Surrender now, Captain, while you're still able. Request denied. Yeah. Get off my ship! Get off my ship, woman. Get off my ship! If you insist, Captain. John Drew! Yeah, where's my rifle? That's a good question. Peter. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, shooting people. Pew, 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 pew. Federation. Oh, yeah, I got Secure it. the bridge! Repel border! How about die already? Hey, you over there. Got you. The Klingons are gone. Oh, so is the captain. Oh, really? I'll try to I'll find the Klingon ship. While sitting on his chest. Your medical assistance was adequate and necessary. I think. No problem, buddy. Uh, oh, that was intense. Right? Klingons. We Yay. just fought Klingons. Well, no, you fought something. Uh, uh, thought I was done for. Thanks. No problem. Uh, I'll be okay. Thanks to you. Klingons are really bad. They didn't would. kill anybody on the bridge. But they did take the captain. What, what happened here? Incoming transmission from the Klingons. Put it through. There's your holograms. Do I have your attention, Starfleet? Captain, are you all right? Silence! Surrender your ship and all classified data within it to me. Immediately! 
or what? No, Shepard, don't kill him. I like order him. your crew to do as I say. He's not going to do that. Why would you even? Exxon, follow my orders to the letter. Fire on my position. <gasps> Spoken like a Klingon, Captain. Now die like one. And there's no wound in his chest. That's awesome. Their blades are so cool. Like transporter technology blades. They just beam right through the clothes. Oh, what, what do we do now? Uh. Tilly, to my quarters. Immediately. We follow the captain's orders. Target his location and fire. That is a cool looking ship, though. I would say. What kind of ship is that? It doesn't look clean what at all. It's a ship. What my luck? Look. Ah, but no. What's a ship? Mech. So we did too. It's a ditch. Made la big jack. They're not going anywhere. <coughs> Tilly, you've been a bad girl. Go to my room. We're still here. Most of us, anyway. The captain. Look, the captain knew what was at stake. He gave the order, and you followed it. If you hadn't, we'd probably all be dead now. Right. Sit your ass down in the chair, buddy. Here we go. Dun 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 dun. Dun, 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 who are you and why are you here? All right, sure. Talk to your first All officer. decks have reported in. We took some casualties and sick bay is full. All systems have taken damage, but some were hit worse than others. Life support is stable. Right. Past that, it's not exactly optimal. Ian, send out a distress Working signal. On it, but something's jamming our long-range comms on all frequencies. Right. Keep trying. What's the status of the Klingon ship, Evelyn? Still running under cloak. We knocked them around pretty good before they slinked off with their tail between their legs. That said, we're in rough shape ourselves. Tilly, damage, damage report. Damage control teams are assigned. We've put out all the fires and started patching the hull breaches, but it's going to take a while. We, um... We'll get the critical systems back online as soon as we're able, Captain. Yes, um, Main Blake Banner. Nice name for the USS Paradox. Yes, well, that was a recommendation by Captain George, so thank you, Captain George, for the, the name. I was deciding what to name my ship, and that just seemed to fit so nicely. Uh, stick with it, Ian. Can we detect the Fortuna? Still reading their distress signal. I can break through the jamming at short range. Shall I hail them? Yes, let's see how they're doing. Opening hailing frequencies now, Captain. Right. Fortuna, this is the USS Paradox. What is your status? Greetings, uh, Captain. Uh, thank you for coming to my aid. I must apologize. I sent the distress signal under duress. Uh, I'm sure you'll do the same with a Klingon disruptor pointed at your head. So you were the bait? Quite so, Captain. Our Klingon friends took pains to make my plight look convincing, uh, to the point of damaging my warp drive beyond function. Uh, at the risk of uh, wearing out my welcome, would you be so kind and assist me? I'd uh, rather not be around if the Klingons come back. I'll see what I can do. What am I doing? Uh, move the ship forward. All right, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. It is a cool looking ship, I gotta say. That's a nice looking ship. Coming to a full stop, Captain. Uh, apologies. I'll wait for your command from now on. Yeah, you better. For your four warp induction coils, Tox. We can spare a few. Okay. Well, repair the freighter. Thanks. Oh, and uh, good luck with the Klingons, my young friend. You'll need it. Thanks, jackass. 
Can't say I blame him. I wouldn't want to fight Klingons in a tub like that either. Speaking of Klingons... <clears throat> Engineering, status report. We have a problem. Most oh, of, of our plasma did. injectors are a wreck. See, plasma injectors are made to take a beating, but this damage goes way beyond what would happen in a fight. Pretty sure the Klingons sabotaged them when they boarded us. They wanted to strand us here. Tamav is installing our spare injectors, but we're three short. Without those, we can't go to warp. Hmm. Recommendations? We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here, Captain. There's wreckage throughout the system. I recommend scanning the derelicts nearby. We may be able to find and recover intact plasma injectors from the wreckage. Let's make that happen. Scanning in progress. I'm picking up a few compatible parts in the wreckage. Blast off the outer casings on those units and we can get what we need. Are those real looking nacelles? They are too. Well, I'll be... I'll be... whatever. That's awesome. Let's get us some actual nacelle bits and pieces. functional plasma injectors and uh okay these right? injectors are a little beat up but i can work with them some yeah. of these are real top shelf tech type j's with a two liter flow modulating reserves and those sweet new comma darbers sweet new comma darbers is that what she just said sweet new and the comma jobbers what lovely remember the klingons work fast please gonna need a little time to get these installed I'd right. rather not breach the core after we go to warp because of a full system meltdown. Right. And that can happen with dicey injectors. Yeah. Tilly. Right. I'm on it, Captain. Tilly just said, I'm on it, Captain. I'll let you go from there with what I'm thinking. Good. Evelyn, what's our status? Well, engineering deals with the warp core, we're stuck here. We need critical systems back online ASAP. It's a sure bet the Klingons are making repairs, and they aren't as safety concerned as we are. They might be back and shooting faster than we'd like. Thanks for all the um, hot key tips, guys, in the chat. It's really appreciated. I, like I said, I don't play this very often, so I'm kind of slow at clicking things. I don't know all the hot keys offhand, so I apologize. <clears throat> You need to write some Tilly fanfic, Captain. I don't think that would be appropriate for anyone to really read. Um, <clears throat> we need to find what's jamming our comms. We're on it, Captain. I located several Klingon military satellites nearby. Yeah. Ian thinks we'll be able to reach Starfleet if we destroy the satellites, and I agree. Besides, we could use a little more target practice. Right. Let's take them out. Sweet. Okay, tab. Oh, that's nice. All right, cool, cool, cool. Oops, that's that one. Let's fire on that. Shall I send the distress yes, signal? send the damn distress signal. Yes! That Klingon ship took some real damage during the fight. I bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. 
do it. We need to deal with them and fast. No argument here. I'd rather not get blown up by Klingons on a cadet cruise. Or, you know, ever, really. <laughs> Scanning now. Oh, yes! I found it! Well done. Sending you the data now. All right. We can trace their plasma signature right back to the source. It'll show up on the map. <clears throat> Irez, plot an intercept course. It's pretty far from us. We should travel at full impulse to reach it. Okay. This will temporarily take power from the other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Okay. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Okay. Baka! Your death will be swift, poo-poo! Poo-poo? Your death will be swift, poo-poo. Well, that's good to know. Sorry. Diaper fetish. Fling on ships, decloak it, Captain. Yeah, diapers. I'd be fine with that. Combat files. Do we have to? Wouldn't hurt to be ready when the next group of enemies attack us out here. <sighs> you know what? Good idea. Bring up the files. We'll see. This is the firing arm for the rear phaser banks. Note that both the forward and rear phaser banks have an overlapping arc of fire on the sides of the ship. Firing at enemies within the overlapping portion of your firing arc is known as broadsiding. This allows both the forward and rear phaser banks to fire on the same target at the same time, increasing your damage output. This is just like Starfleet Battles! Federation captains who prefer beam bank weapons favor the broadside technique and will often circle their targets, keeping them within the broadside arc at all times. It would be wise not to follow me. Cowardly, but wise. Yeah, well, shut your face. Alright, let's go to full impulse and I gotta admit I really like this ship. I'm digging it. <clears throat> Not even gonna complain that it doesn't look TOS. It just looks beautiful. And it should be something that shouldn't be TOS. But the hail. Um, Incoming transmission, Captain. Okay. It's a Starfleet vessel. The Sabrova. The Sabrova. Put them on screen, Ian. This is Captain Thykir Shran. We've received your signal. What happened here? We were ambushed by Klingons, Captain. I see. Ever since they acquired their cloaking device, they've been getting bold. Even for Klingons. You're lucky to be alive, Cadet. And yet here Which I am. Which reminds me. You're on Captain Schaefer's ship. Where is he? Um, he went the way of the dodo. He did. Uh, he was captured and taken to the Klingon ship. They killed him after he ordered us to fire on his position. And did you follow his orders? Uh, yep. I see. Unfortunate. I served with Anton on the Endeavor. He was a fine officer. Is we that... use more like him. Is that Jeffrey Combs' voice? I take it you're the acting captain, then? Sounds like it. That's awesome if it is. I am. Very well. All right. Schaefer didn't place trust in his officers lightly. I'm pretty sure that's Schaefer Combs, XO, yeah. He knew you could get the job done. I'll expect the same. That's awesome. Our first order of business is getting your ship and crew to safety. We'll escort you to make sure you get back in one piece. What about the Klingons, sir? They're still out there. I'm sure they are. 
And if they're foolish enough to come back looking for a fight, they'll get one. In the meantime, set a course for our position. Sobrova, out. Yes, sir. Um, where am I going? Setting a course for the Sobrova. And pull impulse. Let's go. Start trekking across the universe on the Starship Enterprise under Captain Kirk. That's a nice ship, it really is. Ooh. Battle angle is what I'm doing. Stay focused. Hit them where they're weak. Hit them hard. Yes, sir. Slow down. What? Damn it. We were on our way to check in on another Starfleet vessel when we received your distress signal. That vessel is still not responding to hail. He is Brunt, yes. Considering what happened to you, I'm beginning to fear the worst. I'm going to investigate, and I want you to Brunt, join me. Brunt, Weyoun, Tran. If Klingons are up to no good in that system, I'll be back. a shapeshifter, I think. I know it's asking a lot, but we're at war. Consider this a field promotion, cadet. You played quite a few different roles. Orders. Well, I'm glad, that, I'm glad I make this better for you guys. Uh, continue. This... This feels wrong, doesn't it? I mean, the captain just got killed by a House Mokai matriarch over something she thought we had on board. Shouldn't we be chasing her instead? Yep. Hold on, guys. I just got a text I got to address. Glad you guys are enjoying yourself. See, it's much better with sound, isn't it? Trans, the senior officer here, Chili. We have our orders. You're right. You're right. For all we know, this Jaula could be behind what happened to that other ship. We should help them. I'll get back down to engineering, Captain. We are ready to go to warp when you are. Engage, lady. The shadow knows. We've arrived, really? Captain. That's what they call I'm this? reading the Ticonderoga dead ahead. Ooh. Our orders are to make contact with them and find out why they haven't responded to our hails. Captain Troll, you should play this too on Twitch. You can get a lot of subscribers there, and they all have to pay to subscribe. I do have a Twitch account. I've never used it, but very good. Set a course for the Ticonderoga. He's never sounded better. Ian, can you boost the signal? On it. Compensating for local interference now. Hailing frequency is open, Captain. Ticonderoga, this is Paradox. Please respond. Can't say I was expecting either of you out here. Care to fill me in? That sounds dirty. Um, but here I go. I am in command of the Paradox. Captain Shran ordered me to join him here. Actually, I'm going to let Shran explain the situation. We weren't able to contact you earlier. We were escorting these cadets back to the soul system after they were ambushed by Klingons. Under the circumstances, I thought it if you wise start to investigate drunk. your situation here. Uh, we weren't able to contact you earlier. We were escort. Oh, never mind. That's what he said. Apologies. I suspect the local anomalies are interfering with our comm systems. I'm sorry to ask this, but where is Captain Schaefer? 
that Shran explained because he's the commander in charge. The cadets were ambushed by Klingons. Captain Schaefer was killed in the attack, and the ship is under the command of this cadet. The Subrova was escorting them back to Seoul. When we couldn't contact you, I decided to alter Thank course and investigate. Dot. Now then, what's the situation here, Captain Perrett? Starfleet has received reports of Klingon activity in the region. We've been ordered to check things out here. They might be hiding in the cluster and using this as a staging ground. As you can see, the area plays havoc with our systems. I see. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we need to an shields, scan shields. the area. Shields. Shields. That's what Lori Lori called. That's how Lore Reloaded says shields. Shields. <laughs> uh, is there anything that we, we can use do? your help? If all three ships collect data, we should be able to complete this quickly and deal with any Klingons we might come across. Any questions? None. My crew are up to the task. Hmm. I can see why Schaefer picked you to be his XO. Raise the shells! Don't let that confidence get the better of you. If you need help, ask for it. Starfleet needs each and every one of you. Understood. This may be the worst simple trip to Vulcan ever. Right. Bet you wish you were back at the Academy, huh, Tilly? <laughs> Data collection, scan point alpha. Is that this? Yes. Scanning in progress. Picking up large pockets of radiation, but there's something off in the readings. All right, Let's scan point beta. levels that we are? I hope so. I'm not sure that a normal scan will be enough. We might need to do a full multi-phasic reading. We saw the same issue. How can we improve our findings? My science officer believes that performing a tachyon pulse wave scan will solve our sensor issue. another mission. trap. Ready weapons. Perform your final scans and then report back. Understood. I'm not supposed to know that, guys. The deflector is realigned to emit a reverse tachyon pulse wave, Captain. Okay, that's Technobabble, and I'm fine with that. Yes, and we survived. Oh, that was lucky. Half the systems down here are bypassed like a Christmas tree, Captain. We can't take much more combat. Scotty line, I mean, really? I'm good, but I'm not a miracle worker. Really? Really? <laughs> bypass like a Christmas tree, and then I'm not a miracle worker in the same damn... No. No, 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 no. You're doing fine. Remember your training. We can do this. Ticonderoga is under attack. Use full impulse to reach her quickly. Yep, I'm... Uh, can do this. Yeah, I 
again, guys, thanks for the uh, hot tea ideas. Taking a lot of resistance. Ship, yeah. That actually was a USS Tycoon Roga. Phaser fire sounds like Star Wars. Pew pew pew, Federation! I don't know, I kind of have a problem with the sound effects, right? I do kind of see this guy. Hello there, Odo! system as a staging area. Something big is about to go down. We're picking up a large number of inbound warp signatures. Their most likely target is the Corvan system. There's a Dilithium mine there, one we can't afford to lose to the Klingons. Oh, sorry, I've got such a pulled muscle. It's not even funny. It's painful. What's our next course of action? What's the status of Ticonderoga? Tactical the Paradox should go to Corvan to warn them. Um, what's the status the of Ticonderoga? Ticonderoga was badly damaged and they took heavy casualties as well. Medical tells me Captain Durand was injured, but she'll recover in time. We're still working on triage and restoring the ship's critical systems. All right. Which leads me to our next course of action. Yes? <laughs> I want you to go to the Corvan system and right. warn them about the Klingons. Trans grandson or something they said, but yes, it's a, it's voiced by a Jeffrey Combs, uh, Ron. So, Captain Foley, take every pro for the neck. I did. I took um, some extra strength uh, back medication or some muscle relaxant. So, but it didn't really do much. Just took the edge off. What about you? The Sabroba is better equipped to hold off further Klingon attacks and assist the Ticonderoga here. We'll do what we can to delay them be up to you to warn the people of Corvan. Understood. We'll set course for Corvan. I'm not going to question him. We have to make our way to Corvan as soon as we can, Captain. The hell are I you? I just hope we're not too late. looks like an morning. elf. Are you ready to go? So there's orcs and elves, apparently, in Discovery. <sighs> heating pad may help also. Yes, I know. I'm going to put a heating pad on it later. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, Mr. Foley, what do you, what did you figure Let out was wrong with the game audio? All hands, battle station. Uh, well, 
needless to say, we got the audio working. That's all you need to know. There was just some issues that needed to be rectified. All right, so now where the hell am I going? Um, Hail Shran to report. You need to warn the Corvan oh. colony about the Klingons. Okay. Do what we can to hold off the Klingons here and repair the Ticonderoga. Good luck. All right. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Right, so let's go to Corvan's system. Use M to open up the map for sector space. You can click on a system to plot a course and set your ship to automatically fly to it. Well, that I knew, but okay. Now, I gotta say, this is an impressive looking ship. I'm really liking this design. We're giving her all she's got, Captain. I hope we get God. there in time. Another Scotty quote. For the love of God, stop it. <sighs> no, cool ship for sure. I have a level 61 Admiral main timeline. Can I send him to Discovery Era? I don't think so. You got some goodies to improve your weapons. Yay! <sighs> Begin Children of War. Uh, is this the last mission for the Discovery thing? Looks like we got here before the Klingons, Captain. We should make the most of this advantage. Right. What are your orders? We need to warn the colonists. I've managed to establish comps with the colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're going to get. Putting him through now. On screen. Hello, Captain. What can I do for you? The Klingon attack force is coming. You need to evacuate. Run that by me again. Your signal's breaking up. Did you say Klingons? What about them? The Klingons are coming. The Klingons are coming. Chief, you have to evacuate. Ian, what just happened? We just lost contact with Corvan 2, Captain. Something's blocking all subspace signals in this area. There's a comm satellite nearby. It should boost our signal so we can warn the ships and the colony. Uh, Trek Heroes, did you know that 750 Zen can get you the starter pack that gives you a Walker class ship and levels with you all through 30 or 40? Oh, wow, cool. Didn't know that. Very well, Erez, Erez, set a course. The SAT uses our security protocols. We should be able to access it. Okay, so let's go then. Hit the brakes. Boost signal. Our hails are still blocked. The Klingons may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Orders, Captain? Desmond, can we lock onto the colonists? Not from orbit, Captain. The Klingons are disrupting transporter operations at the local level. Right. Colonial evacuation on a mass scale could be problematic. We may have to try to hold the Klingons here until Starfleet reinforcements arrive. Oh, let's help however Klingon we can. Klingon forces inbound on an attack vector, Captain. All right, bring it on. Let's do this thing. Those civilians won't last long against Klingons. We need to help them. Yes, Roar. Bye. See you. 
range comms again. Long range signals are still blocked. I've updated the colony. However, the Klingons have started to send down attack squads. What are your orders? We'll do what we can to protect the colony. Captain, the civilians are trying to fight the Klingon landing craft. I think I can break through the Klingon jamming and hail the civilians. Oh shit, hold on. I have to take care of these guys. Civilian vessels, disengage immediately. I repeat, disengage. Roger that, Starfleet. All ships, fall back. won't be able to hold off the Klingons for long. I'm reading more enemy ships on long-range sensors as well. It won't be long before the colony is overrun. I recommend we beam down to help the miners while we can. I'm beam down then. Who's going down with me? Um, no Tilly? Oh man, at least I won't get distracted. That's fine. According to our readings, over half the colony has been overrun by the Klingons. At the rate they're moving, this area will fall in less than an hour. Understood. Let's do what we can to help uh, the colonies. Right. Colonists. Lead the way, Captain. I've got your back. Move out. Lay the gate closed! We have to get out of here! Starfleet's here! We have to help oh, them. Thank goodness. Starfleet's here. <laughs> ah, talk to this. Thanks. Jerk. We didn't think anyone got our distress signal. Glad that's not I true. Probably, what is your character we handle? Night Stalker 666, I think. Night Stalker with a K. Armor suits for you and your officers, though. They're in the crates next to the gate. This code will open the gate. Chief Smythe and some of the others are still in there. I know it's asking a lot, but if you can, please, save them. Here are the codes to the gate. You have to save the Chief and the others. status or the status of your ship and bridge officers. <clears throat> I'm never good at deciding what to pick for stuff. your character. Here you can see your equipped items and devices. Okay, thanks. Hey, be careful. There's a lot of Klingons down there. 
Thanks, Tills. Favorite part is looking at Tilly's ass, but too bad Tilly to get left behind when the ship and crew move. Yes. back! I'm warning you! Hang on. You're Starfleet! You were the one who contacted us, yeah? I'm glad you're here. As I'm sure you can guess, we're uh, all a little on edge. If it wasn't for Fletcher visiting family here, I'd have eaten a disruptor blast by now. Not to be critical, but uh, where are the rest of you? This is it. The paradox is in orbit. Oh, that, that's not good. We're in big trouble. These Klingons mean business. They've locked us out of the mine. Probably down there robbing us blind while we speak. No way we can beam anyone down to stop them. And they've probably killed all our security there by now. We'll do what we can... Glad we, to hear it. Do what we We're can definitely going to need that help. There's some gear in those crates. Use it. Thanks. I'll retrieve the gear and we'll go from there. What are you on about, bud? Oh, there we go. <coughs> Take. Alright, so...
item does not go there. Oh, does it go up here? No. Kit modules. Sure, there we go. Gotcha. Okay. It's been a long time since I played, guys. So. I know you want to shut down that security field on the mine, yes, but I, I have an idea. Hear me out, okay? Make it fast. Okay. I think we can hook up the field emitter to the power core and modify it to broadcast a field over the entire facility. It's a short-term solution, but it could be what we need to keep the Klingons from getting any more of their troops down there. That just I know, work. right? Well, first things first. I'm reading a device at the base of the mine entrance. If you can set up a jumper between it and the main command console, you'll be able to reroute the field's power flow. That'll open up the mine for you and set up things for my plan. Right. We'll, re we'll reroute the power. All right, we're in business. Almost. I'm gonna need someone to be my hands down there. I won't be your hands to do anything you want. Talk to Chief Smith. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, nice work. Perfect timing, too. I can hear the Klingons coming. We're about to have some really unpleasant company. We'll deal with the Klingons. Can you reroute the power? Let me your communicator. If your engineer can walk me through it, I'll, I'll get the job done. Just keep them off me, okay? We will. Work fast, Chief. Right. Here they come. Let them have it! I need you to pull the axe here, invert it, and jam it back in. Trust me. Okay, it's in there. I think I got it. Damn, I didn't even know that guy snuck by. Now manually cycle the power while forcing a short through the jumper. Oh, well, that's a waste of your Oh, name. and don't electrocute yourself. Uh, please. as I can. I'm a miner, not an engineer. I'm a miner, not an engineer. Uh -huh. funny. They are almost there. Medic! Boom. Boom, bitch. Hicks says, I'm sure many players would love to help me get the gear you want. I don't know what I want or need. I just... The system is still clear, Captain, but those Klingon ships are getting closer. The faster you can finish up down there, the better. Acknowledged. Stand by, Chief. Thanks for the... Thanks for your help up there. Least I could do. Right Thank you here. for putting your lives on the line Not up here. there. What? You won't forget it. You didn't have to come help us. At least of all by yourselves. But we're really happy you did. Uh, let's go, Fletcher. You're with me. You got it. There's no way I'm sitting around and letting the Klingons take this Kay. place without a fight. Oh, and uh, sorry about that whole phaser in the face thing earlier. Won't happen again. Uh, <clears throat> so we've got a few super chats, so thank you guys. Um, if you guys want to put in some more super chats, that'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, like I said, you don't have to, though. Um, but it would be awesome. Um, don't worry about it or the Klingons. Klingons worry about me. Not the other way around. Rawr, Let's rawr. go. All right, there, lady. Now, what am I doing? Uh, enter them. Gotcha. Look, it's a Klingon. That was a dumb throw. You Klingons all said tough when your target shoots back, huh?
Set phaser to sexy BDSM king setting. Uh, well, I would, but that's for later. I can do that. I can do that. What? Bombing has stopped. Something's wrong. Secure the dilithium and prepare it for immediate transport. No! For some reason, I have less problem with the Klingons in the game than I do in the show. You're done here! Tell I don't play this game a lot. Hey. Uh -oh. Die already, that god. B oh. I don't want to do that. Do the wrong thing. Rifle butt. Uh -oh. Yeah. Okay, run away, run away. Flanking damage detected. Serious? Call for help. Someone help me. That's right. Come and help. Are sounding a little odd. Could be a problem. It might be pulling more power than it should. Give me a sec. I need to run some numbers. This wouldn't be life threatening, would it? Hold on. Okay. I pulled the specs on that unit. It's an older model, but it gets the job done. It uses two oscillating beams instead of a fixed pulse. Uh oh. I don't like the sound of well, that. I'm seeing uh -oh. three possible outcomes to this rig overloading. Overloading, never mind, what are the outcomes? What's the best case scenario here? Outcome three. You managed to trigger an emergency shutdown before the rig goes nuclear. Still a bad thing, nuclear. Not as bad as, say, a warp core breach, but still bad, so we should definitely try to avoid that. Let's go with that option. Okay, I found the emergency shutdown mechanism, and good news, it's really easy to operate. It's just a pair of simple switches on two separate consoles that have to be activated at the same time. So we're just talking to Sylvia, she's on her way home. Alright. That's usually I don't know, I guess it was built that way so a single disgruntled miner couldn't shut down the whole operation. Miners get disgruntled, you know. You can do this. 
Ask around. See if there are any locals. They might be able to assist. Fletcher's a local. We'll see what he can do. Stand by. Where's Fletcher? Or Felcher? Where the hell am I going? Activate emergency shutdown. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I'm doing a lot Ooh, there. Wow, that was really close. Good job, Captain. The security field is still standing, the mine's secure, and you didn't blow up. And that's good. But the Klingons are still on their way. We could use your help up here when you're ready to beam up. Beam up? Why do I still tap my comm badge when I don't have a comm badge? Oh well. Captain, the colony's security field is holding strong. There's still a lot of Klingon ships heading our way, though. We need to leave, and soon. But... But there's a problem. Civilian ships travel through here frequently. We need to warn them about the Klingons, or they could warp into the middle of a war zone. Tilly, can we use local satellites to send an automatic, automated warning? Absolutely. We could even remotely program the signal on a satellite as we leave the system, which we should soon. The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. Well, let's do it. Erez, lay in a course for the nearest satellite. Just right ahead of us, so that's awesome. Find the warp sound effect for this guy. It's kind of interesting. Maybe the fact of it. I still want to be able to figure out a way to play Starfleet Command Volume 2 on the computer again. I would love to play that game. I love that game so much. I can't get it thrown on the system. I'll say you can do it.
stood our ground at the Arucanus Arm the until Glenn? the situation became untenable. After we disengaged, we were able to reach Starfleet no, I didn't get the starter pack. Backup. Others will be arriving as soon as they can. We can't afford to lose this system to the Klingons. Well, thanks for coming, Captain. Don't mention it. You'd do the same were our situations reversed. Would I? I believe Captain Schaefer would be proud of you and your crew, Captain. Your efforts to defend the Federation are commendable, and my report will indicate this. Thank you, sir. Apart from your valor in combat, I'm particularly impressed by your work with the local satellites. Turning them into distant warning beacons was quite clever. Those signals will save a lot of lives. Corvan 2 is still in a lot of danger, sir. Indeed. I'm sure Starfleet Command has detailed plans for defending Corvan. For now, however, your work here is done. You're to report to the Soul System with the civilians you've rescued. Once you arrive, report to Admiral Kensington for debriefing. Understood, sir. What about Fletcher? Fletcher would make a fine addition to your senior staff. I'll make a note of it in my report to Starfleet Command. You've done well under extraordinary circumstances. Anton's ship is in good hands. Keep up the good work. Shran out. Congratulations. We've done all we can, Captain. Let's get to safety while we still can. Don't hit the planet. I kind of like that warp sound out effect. Or that warp sound out effect. The warp out sound effect. After everything we went through out there, going back to Professor Shermer's advanced physics class doesn't seem as scary now. I mean, what's string theory compared to dodging Klingon disruptor blasts or trying to keep a warp core stable? Speaking of scary, think Admiral Kensington's gonna go easy on you? The ship did kind of get beat up. A little. Uh, okay, a lot. I'm sure I'll be fine, Tilly. Boom. Ha. So, hey, people the running Admiral's around all the time. This way. Isn't this... Oh, wait a minute, what? Where the hell did Tilly go? That's where I was going, for Christ's sakes. Thanks for coming. You've been through a lot. Starfleet Command appreciates your efforts, especially at the Corvin system. I do as well. Well, thank you, Admiral. I've read the official reports, but I'd like to hear your take on it all, in your own words. Hmm, this Jaula has become quite a thorn in our side. You're fortunate, very few have survived combat with her. Our agents are on the hunt for Jaula as we speak. Bringing in the sister of Takuthma will be quite a blow to Klingon morale. Now you get into your Rest first assured, real mission. you're not the only one who wants her to pay for her oh. I don't think we've seen the last of her, Admiral. Neither do I, unfortunately. Well then, based on what I'm seeing here, you're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs now. I know your ship might not be the Enterprise, but you've proven yourself capable of sitting in her center chair. The job's yours if you want it. Admiral? Yes, under normal circumstances, it would take years of work to get your own command. But these aren't normal circumstances. The war isn't going well for us. We don't have the luxury of waiting years before putting good officers on the line. We need them out there right now. We need you. Me? Yes, Corvin would have been a disaster if it weren't for you and your crew. Starfleet wants to recognize that. Therefore, as of now, I'm making your promotion and command yes, official. Pug I see the same things in you that Schaefer did. Honor his name and make us all proud. Thank you, Admiral. We won't let you down. I wouldn't recommend it. I have it on good authority. I'm quite a terror when crossed. On to more mundane duties, hmm? You'll need to check in with the tailor and update your uniform in a manner appropriate to your new rank. 
After that, acquire a shuttle for your ship. When you're finished, return to me for new orders. Yes, Admiral. You don't look unhappy. And that's good, right? Oh, Tilly. Who's behind Tilly jumping up and down? No Tilly for you. All right, guys, I'm going to call it quits. It's been uh, two hours, so I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching me play this. Uh, next time I start, I'll start from here. And uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, I wish I would have got more super chats and stuff. But again, not necessary. It was just fun to play. Um, I like Tilly, but she gets old quick. True. Uh, Trek yards, I've been trying to add you, but it won't work. Uh, two pounds from Luke. A uh, robot writer wrote her dialogue. It's so artificial. Yeah. Somebody's got their face the in their shops ass. Are in the main campus building. Well, they did, until she moved. What are you doing, Tilly? Hey, baby. You and me. You know what I'm saying? Later tonight. I'm gonna do things to you that you've only dreamt of. Yeah, yeah. I love your booty. And on that note, uh, oh, Euros. Sorry. Anyways, I'm off for tonight, for now, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you for everybody who joined me. Thank you, everybody who super chatted. It's much appreciated. And I will talk to you all later. Um, until then, it's Captain Foley signing off. Gropey Foley. Captain going full stalker. Later, dudes. All right. Bye, guys. I don't know who that is that's dancing there. You need to comment and tell me who that is. But it's hilarious. And this person over here is checking me out as well. The various well. shops are in the main campus building. Yeah, okay. I'm getting there. Bye, guys.